are watching a rescue team in action. One of 27 such teams attached to the fire department of Los Angeles County. Five and a half million people in this area are dependent on their ability to act swiftly and efficiently in any emergency. This program is dedicated to rescue teams throughout the United States and to the men who risk their lives daily to save others. We will be back in a moment to bring you the story behind this exciting rescue. But Patty, you said it was your mother's favorite evening gown. Well, heck, she even remodeled it herself. It might have looked great at the inauguration of Teddy Roosevelt, but if you want your wife to appear in costume at the fireman's ball, then you better rent knee breeches for yourself to go with me. <laughs> Little, uh, something you whipped up all by yourself? Very funny. Hi, Uncle Les. It's for the fireman's ball, Uncle Les. Oh? Well, looks like it might be a little tight in the shoulders, but then nobody be looking at you anyhow with Patty there. Well, now, I don't know about that. Sit down, Wes. We haven't got time, Patty. We've got to be at station 20 minutes. What I've got to say won't take 20 minutes, and I want you to hear it. Sit down. You mind if I get a word in? If you can't take pride in the appearance of your wife on your most important evening, what is there to say? But, Patty, to buy a brand new dress for just one night out of the year. Now, seriously, Wes, take a look at this. Well, what's wrong with Patty's mother's dress? Not a thing. On you. Patty has to wear it. Thanks, pal. Darling, get Daddy's checkbook. It's in the top drawer of the desk. Okay, Mommy. Don't you feel good, Daddy? <laughs> yes, I feel fine. My checkbook's about to get sick. <laughs> Here. Anything wrong, Dora? Well, I'm a little old to take up hurdling. It's this gate again. Hmm. Must have pulled it too hard. Worked all right when I fixed it last week. Someday I'm going to bury that toolkit of yours. Here, take these. I got the tap in the bathroom working. And no $15 visit from a plumber, either. Isn't Dorothy home yet? No. Them dates with Jack Gibney are certainly keeping our little girl away from home. Don't see why she don't bring him around here once in a while. I do. Well, I, I got nothing against Navy men. Might make a nice life for our little girl. <laughs> Been stationed in all them foreign ports. <laughs> oh, Charlie, look. Huh? Oh, oh, dear. Here. I'll fix it. Oh, Those darn plastic washers. Oh, no. Daddy being his own plumber again. Need you ask? What's the matter, honey? Didn't Jack propose? That's just it. He did. Well, now, that's fine. Yes, sir. -y. That's fine. Daddy, how fine do you think it's going to be when Jack's family comes over here to meet you and Mom? What do you think they'll say then? Oh, I'll have this place fixed up neat as a pin by then. They're coming for lunch tomorrow. Tomorrow? Well, let him come. Charlie, just take a look at this house. Now, Jack's father is a retired admiral, and he's used to having everything polished and shining and shipshape. It will be, Dara. Rome wasn't built in a day. No, and it wasn't built by an amateur either. Charlie, come on out here. Look at this avocado tree. Take a look at that craft branch up there. Now, it's been that way for a month. 
Is this the first impression that you want Jack's family to get? I can have that tree branch sawed off clean in an hour, if that's all it's worrying you. Well, it's not only me, Charlie. The neighbors are complaining. They say that that's dangerous. I said I'd take care of it, Dora. Not you. For once, you're going to call in someone who really knows his business, a professional tree surgeon. Well, I'd be throwing away good money. Have you any idea what those tree surgeons charge? Better put it on this side. That's it. Now, be careful, Dad. <laughs> You don't answer every call that way. Now listen, we'll have to make it an hour earlier if that's all right. Dad has some sort of reserve inspection this afternoon. And he'll come right over after that. Oh, well, uh, my father had some business appointments, too. He's, he's sort of out on a limb right now. Oh, but I'm sure he'll be back in time. Oh, and Jack, uh, the family aren't fussing or anything. Mother wanted to make it a kind of a reception, but I thought we should just keep it simple. You know, just family. Mother and Dad love informality. They better. Daddy, we have less than two hours. <laughs> Ten minutes is all this job's going to take. <sighs> Ten minutes. Charlie, you better look which way that thing's going to fall. Only one way for it to fall. Down. Oh. It's Jack now. Hi. Hi, darling. Oh, just give it a hard pull. Oh. oh. That's all right. It just does that. I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. But you might need a little advanced staff work before the big launching. I am glad you came first. What's your dad doing up in the crow's nest? Preparing the ship for inspection. <laughs> Charlie, how much longer are you going to take? Oh, Daddy! Help me! Oh! Oh, no, Daddy! Oh, Daddy, Daddy it hurts! It's about somebody! Oh. Do something! Down, Grace Leonard. Shove that thing away. Help me get this. Oh, my leg. Is that... Is it... We need some help. 
Doc, get on the phone fast. Jack, is he all right? Hey, he'll be all right, Miss Warren. Oh. caught up in a tree was all the dispatcher had told us. We'd rescued plenty of children out of treetops and even an occasional cat unofficially. But a full-grown man was something new. Up there. I think he's hurt bad. Hurry! Hurry! <laughs> Even from below, I could see the way the victim was pinned. Would be hard enough to free him, much less bring him down. I tried to move that limb, but I couldn't get enough leverage to make it budge. I think it'll be a lot safer using hook skipper than trusting this rickety ladder. I'll buy that. Get me all of my leg! Let's get palm pair belts, ropes, and the hooks. How is it? It's fast and weak. This was a kind of job that should be easy. Just one big bow pinning an old man. But the bow was hard to get to and harder to cut. We've got to get a rope on him, Skip. If we chopped through too fast, it would only add more weight on the victim, and he already had more weight on him than any man could take for long and live. If you worry, old timer, we'll get you down. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I told him. I told him not to do it. Don't try to do it, Charlie. I said, don't do it. Mother, you know he's going to be all right. But I don't. I don't. His breathing is getting shallow, Skip. Well, and we're in no position to give him artificial respiration, I'll tell you that. We got to try something. Hey, Lieutenant. Yeah? You know what a small E&J resuscitator looks like? Sure do. We've got one in the back of our rig. Send it up, will you? You got it. I'll rig the snatch block up to get that equipment, Skip. We might cut some of these branches. We had to lighten that bow to relieve the pressure on him. We figured that chopping off some of the smaller branches would be safer than cutting the big bow, and a lot faster. I watch it below. Back up, Robert Skip. job to feed oxygen to a victim. But this time, we were up a tree in more ways than one. How's he doing? That seems to be breathing easier. Oh, oh my head. Take it easy, old timer. We'll have you out of this bird land in a few minutes. Oh. Don't let my wife know how bad this is. Don't worry, old timer. We'll just keep that between you and us and these woodpeckers. Stripping that big bow had lightened it enough, so it might, just might be possible to lower the victim clear if the hunch I had paid off. I'll tell you, Skip, I think the best thing to do is get a block and tackle on this big limb, and that way we can pull it away from him. What do you think? Might as well give it a try. Come Lieutenant! Up. Yeah? There's a block and tackle in our rig. Send it up to us, will you? Right. He's breathing OK. Now. You got that? <laughs>
swing around here up to that limb and try to secure this tackle. All right, I'll hand it over. What happened, son? Oh, then. Well, we had an accident. Is he Dorothy's father? That's my father. Up there. I'm all set here, Skip. How about you? Tighten it up. All right, Dad, we'll have you out in a minute. Okay. Hold it away, Lieutenant, but take it easy. Easy does it. Does that hurt? Yeah. I think his ribs are cracked. We won't be able to use the safety harness. Well, I don't think we ought to tackle a litter. How about the Blake bag? Yeah. Lieutenant? Yeah? There's a Blake bag in the rear end of our truck. Send it up, will you? All right. You're going to have to give us some help if you can, old timer. We've got to get your left leg over this limb so we can get the Blake bag up under your feet first, okay? Okay. Go All ahead. right, let's give it a whirl. Okay, got it. Too tough? Hang right on. I'll bend your knee if you can. Can you bend it? One more. you found us in all this trouble, Admiral. Well, maybe trouble helps people to get to know each other better and a lot faster, Dorothy. He'll be all right, Mrs. Warren, I'm sure. They know how to handle these cases. All righty. One thing about our job, we never run out of surprises. Well, I don't mind a surprise just as long as we don't run out of luck. Let's get out of this bird's nest. You, you gotta admit, I saved us two hundred dollars. <laughs> well, you think by now she's picked out that gown? Yeah, it's a cinch. Huh? Oh, yeah. And the best part is the price. Why we get a bargain, Daddy? Wes, you better get a resuscitator. I'm gonna ask her the price. Be real easy with him, Patty. He's had a hard day. 
How much? Only sixty dollars. Oh. 